Hello everyone, my name is Brian Reyes, and welcome to another Daily Devotional. Now today, we're on day 170, and the title of the day is called, Betrayed. The verses of the day are in Matthew chapter 26, verses 47 to 49. And while he was still speaking, behold, Judas, one of the twelve, with a great multitude, with swords and clubs, came from the chief priests and elders for, of the people. Now his betrayer had given them a sign, saying, Whomever I kiss, he is the one, seize him. Immediately he went up to Jesus and said, Greetings, Rabbi, and kissed him. Being betrayed is not fun. It could happen in any conflict. Your friends could go have fun without you and you found out later on. Or even a parent could leave your family. They could either do it on purpose or be so focused on themselves that they didn't even notice. Judas was one of Jesus' disciples, but he never understood Jesus' intentions to be on earth in the first place. All he cared about was himself and he didn't really want Jesus to change his heart. Could you imagine how Jesus felt when Judas betrayed him? Writer Anne Lamott said, You can safely assume that you've created God in your own image when it turns out that God hates all the same people you do. Judas tried to make Jesus work for only miracles. When we try to do the same, we try to make God a version of us. It hurts God. Instead of trying to use him, we have to try and act more like him. Try this. Make a list of things you think God can't do. Then find scriptures to support your ideas about God. Are they correct? Or have you made God into an image you made up yourself? Ask God to give you a correct picture of himself. This has been another Daily Devotional. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.